What's up, Cancer? 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 Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to the Karmic Circus, where we expose all of these karmically as clowns. Now, Cancer, please keep in mind that this reading may or may not resonate with your energy. And I want to thank everyone, um, if you've been following the Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine messages, thank you for subscribing, thank you for all the likes, thank you for all the donations, um, thank you for the emails. And if you're interested in a personal reading, you can get the information in the description box below, Cancer. Keep in mind that if I say he in your energy, it could be a she. Okay, if you're dealing with the karmic energy, this is someone who basically comes in your life to torment you. It could be a family member. It could be your, uh, your spouse, your lover, your boyfriend, your ex-girlfriend. It could be an ex-boyfriend who don't want to accept that it's over. An ex-girlfriend who don't want to accept that it's over. It could be a karmic female that you've been with that'll bust your windows out, um, destroy things. You know, karmics, they destroy your things. They're jealous. They're egotistic, okay? Um, they're narcissistic. They're obsessive, spiritually manipulative, emotionally, physically manipulative. Okay, so we just gonna see cancer. What are the karmic energies that's coming towards you on this Halloween night? Okay. Coming in is the showing energy of the cancer. What's the energy coming towards the cancer? So it's a mature woman. Now this mature woman could be you. This mature woman could be your mother. She could be an older sister. This could be a baby mama. Um, a feminine energy that's older. Okay. This feminine energy is delaying some sort of paperwork from the courts. There's some spell work out here. But it's in reverse, it's not working. Someone is trying to do some spell work to keep you from getting a great fortune. This is someone in your family that you're not talking to, they don't hold you in high honor, Divine Feminine. This person is um, deceptive and they've done something and they're looking back at it. They've done some spell work on some paperwork to keep you getting from getting the court papers. They did some sort of magic. You may have not found out, got the news about it. So some of you, this person, they lied about some shit when it comes to the court. Okay? They lied about it. This could be a younger sibling. Lied about the courts on some something that you did, they didn't give you the uh, honor for. Someone didn't do enough research. And some of you, this is a sibling. Others of you, this is uh, a lover or whoever this karmic is to you. Okay. Now, this snake could be a person you've been with sexually and they have a lot of partners, multiple partners, a lot of people they tempt or they're around a lot of temptation. Okay. This, this 
the spell work with this snake. Right, and the snake is a magician too. With the number eight, they keep doing the shit over and over. And this snake, this fox, is is headed looking at somebody's good luck. They're headed towards some good luck. And they've been running around gossiping about it. They didn't talk about it so much that nobody wanted to hear it. They they done done some fraudulent shit with some paperwork, some documents or something. Tell me more Holy Spirit. Imprisonment. It's like somebody is being released from prison, or this person or this incident could have you in a mental imprisonment, and you're dealing with a narcissistic motherfucker, and you're not the only person, you're not the main female that they're doing this to. Okay, some of the some of you, this is your brother, and others of you, this is your ex. It's the narcissist out here. And they could be, you know, mad because you don't want to spend no time with them. You don't want to hang out and they want to hang out with you. But you don't want to hang out with them because you know you're not the main female that this person is dealing with. And they, you know, had you in a, a multiple imprisonment with all these multiple partners right here. See all these fruit on this tree? All them apples? I mean, this, these, these are brown apples, green apples. This person didn't care if the, the, the fruit was ripe or if it was rotten. They would bite off a fruit that has worms in it, okay? And you got out of this mental entrapment with this person. And again, you weren't the main female. And this person was disloyal to you. Mm -hmm. And all they did was run around and gossip to where nobody, you see how that bird is flying in? But them other birds ain't paying no attention. They're like, man, I don't want to hear that shit. Talking about some shit that he didn't, some secret papers, or some shit they didn't sign. Sneaky. Being sneaky. Bragging about it. And you may have not, you know, received the paperwork or something, or you may not just be not um, going back and forth with this person. Yeah, cause some of you this is a family member, okay? And they didn't hold you in high honor. Okay, so tell me more spirit. Either you are a gift or you're about to receive a gift. This person was trying to keep you anchored down, so you say you're not going back and forth with them no more. Okay, and with these um, court papers here, the papers, they're, they're, somebody is purposely trying to delay some court papers for you during doing spell work. They're trying to be sneaky. They're delaying, they're delaying paperwork. They're putting spells on the courts. People don't believe that shit. That shit is real. Lori is doing all this shit. They don't want you to cut them off. Okay, and some of you, you know you finna get some money or something and this person is trying to keep you in their little circle because they know you about to be um, abundant or financially blessed in some sort of way. And they don't want you to cut them off. So they're trying to be sneaky and this person is in despair. Some of you, um, this person is in despair. Something they, they, they think you didn't heard or something, but you haven't heard something. Or you you haven't received a message or something. They think you didn't got a message and, and you're, uh, you're not talking to them. And usually you would like probably cuss this person out, but this time you didn't, you didn't cuss them out. You just like, just, you just went on. You just... They don't know what the fuck to do. 
And they could be just going around asking their friends, have they seen you? They don't know where you are. And some of these, these friends they got, they sleeping with them. The multiple partners, they gossip into these multiple partners, the people they sleeping with. Okay, and some of you, this is not for everybody, but it's for somebody. This sneaky fox is trying to get away with keeping you from, from uh, cutting him off. Because he know you ain't going back and forth with her or him. He's gossiping and he's going to gossip some more. Going to tell people how unloyal he's been. He's going to tell people how you ain't trying to spend time with him. Mm -hmm. And you ain't going back and forth with him because you know he a fox. You know he's trying to anchor you down. And some of you divine feminines, he's he's keeping you away from your family. Some of your family ain't speaking to you behind this person. And surrounding these documents is this sneaky fox and some spell work. Mm -hmm. A snake is close by. The snake is hoping for good luck because he's doing spell work. Okay, Holy Spirit, what is the advice? Okay, there's no new beginnings for this person, but their mask is about to fall off. They're about to be exposed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And now you ain't, you're not wasting time with this person. You're not speaking to this person. You're not giving them your time. It's time in reverse. False person in reverse. You um you know they secrets then came out, you done found out they was false. Wearing a mask. And see, this person has somebody in the background. Okay? They had somebody in the background they was cheating with. That's why this false person is right here with this unloyal dog. You found out. And see, the funny thing about it, this sneaky fox, since he know you ain't going back and forth with him, he telling his friends that he about to go back to the false person he been dealing with. Mm -hmm. He's What he's doing, same thing been happen to him. He's headed towards a person who's uh, going to be a narcissist. Uh, she ain't going to be loyal to him. And she got somebody in the background. Okay, that he don't know about. But he headed right towards that. Mm hmm Thinking he got away with some sort of uh, paperwork, documents, money. But he didn't. And surrounding this main female in reverse... She realized she's not the main female. She took herself out of this mental imprisonment. This person was unloyal. She could have had a miscarriage by him. Found out he was fake, wearing a false persona, and she's having good luck. But she realized also that she wasn't the main female that he did this to. You ain't the only one he did this to. He done did this shit before. But see, the funny thing is he's going towards somebody going to do him the same way he did you. I so what is the advice? Give me some spiritual advice for my divine feminine. Because I know she's strong. You know tears out here and shit. You know you was dealing with a snake and you being a divine feminine, you know that this person was doing spell work on you. Okay. Yeah, you stop crying. You ain't crying no more. You been listening to music and shit? Mm -hmm. You ain't crying. I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna shed a tear. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all listening to Mary J. Blige? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so what is the advice for the black guy? What is the advice? What is the advice for the black guy? Self care. I like this card because it means self love. It means healing. Aligning your chakras, getting balanced, loving yourself. Okay? You may need to get you a seven chakra healing kit. Okay? That's seven chakras. It's just seven stones. Okay? Like, um, this is the red jasper. This is for grounding and stability. This is a green adventuring, and it's for um, your heart balance, if your heart has been broken. This is a citrine. This is for joy, happiness. You know, it's the color of the sun. It brings, makes you feel fun and happiness. I don't have all seven right here, but this is a, a white opal. It's good for clarification, okay? And... Those are the ones I have right here in front of me for your chakras. Here's a, but you need, you need seven, you need to heal your chakras. This is a, a, uh, this is a yellow adventure. This is also like the citrine that brings, you know, Sunshine is the color of the sun into your life, give you that happy feeling, you know. Um, yeah, so uh, Divine Feminine, I'm going to find out what it is. What else? What else, Spirit? Okay, divine needs to know what she needs to learn about self care. What else does she need to know? What else? What else do you want to know? Okay, so peace. Once you learn about self-love, self-care, peace will come into your mind. Peace will come into your life because you will be able to identify toxic shit, toxic energies. You'll see it coming and you'll just get away from it. You won't, you will start hanging up in people's face. Um, you, some of you will even get to the point to where you could be talking on the phone and, um, my son's father used to do this to me. He'll act like the phone is something is going wrong with the phone. Like, hello, hello? I can't hear you no more. You you done died, so he can just hang the phone. Okay? So some of you may be in that mode doing something, some shit like that. You need you may need peace. You need peace. You need peace to self-love yourself. And spirit is saying to get out in nature. So that means for you to go to the park. Take your shoes and socks off and walk in the green grass, okay? <clears throat> walk in the grass in your front yard. Walk in the grass in your backyard. Um, at a park somewhere. Just walk in some green grass with your socks and shoes off. And that's connected with the earth, okay? Also, when you're out in nature, you may see a lot of birds. Start paying attention to them birds because birds bring messages. If you see one bird, watch that one bird. It could represent something you're going through and you don't even know. Is that bird flying solo by itself? Or is that bird flying towards a bunch of other birds? Is that bird sitting off by itself and a bunch of other birds sitting off with themselves, but they clustered and you sitting off by yourself? That bird can represent you. If you see two birds, you could be going through something with your person. And you may not know what's going on. 
Watch, if you see two birds, all of a sudden, you could be sitting at a stoplight and two birds could be sitting up on top of the light, on top of the red light. Okay, that could mean something. Did one bird fly away? Did they stay together? Did they fly away together? Okay, was one higher than the other? One lower? All of those, you look, you, you metaphysically, you watch them birds. You could be, you could see some birds, one person, one bird, and then you can see 20 birds sitting on the, you know, you could be sitting at the park, watch them birds. Okay, is them birds shitting on you? Is they shitting a lot? Is they, uh, are they squawking? Are they chirping? Are they singing? Pay attention to those birds, okay? What else, Spirit? What is the last, the, the overall? Go with the flow. Spirit says just go with the flow. Balance yourself. Balance yourself, duality. You you have to learn how to balance yourself, okay? Because this spiritual realm is, is a motherfucker, okay? How the moon and all of that, I'm not so deep off into it, but the moon, how it's um, rising and falling and the sun and all of that shit has an effect on us. It has an effect on our, on our aura, okay? So you have to learn how to balance yourself. You have to learn how to balance that chakra, okay? Some of you ladies, you may not even realize you 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 you, you could be bleeding real heavy, and you, maybe you need to learn how to balance your body. Maybe you need to get a a uh, carnelian and put 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 the car keep the par keep the carnelian in your pocket, close to your genitals. Okay, ladies, that's for those of you, I don't know where they come from, a, a carnelian and a uh, red jasper. Okay, and I don't know what I'm talking about, but if you have a red jasper, Spirit is telling me a red jasper in your pocket by your genitals along with the carnelian, because the carnelian stone um, has to do with your sex organs, your sexuality, and all of that. And you could have some sort of blockage. Somebody could be throwing spell work at you to make you bleed real heavy, you know. Um, also, look up the, the healing crystals that's uh, good for menstrual cycles and fertility. Pretty soon, I'm going to be selling the, the fertility kits and things, you know. Um crystal sets for men where they're having problems with erections and things like it's that it's certain crystals that can heal you and help you okay so you need to learn how to equally balance yourself divine feminine and get out in nature start loving yourself and bring pre peace and tranquility into your life don't let nobody take it away from you if they don't hold you in high honor you hold your motherfucking self in high honor if they don't choose you as the main female, you choose yourself as the main female. If they try to put you in a mental imprisonment, you got the key to unlock yourself to get your ass up out of there. Okay? If they try to stop you for the new beginning, they can't stop no, no, no beginning for you because you're God's child. Okay? They can't take, away, take nothing away from you that's meant for you. Alright? So, this person will get their karma. Okay? They're probably getting it now. Okay? Because the person they left you got somebody. So that's where they're going to be really looking stuck on stupid because they ain't got nobody now because you know what? You got your shit up. You got to die. Peace out.